If you've downloaded our macros, then you know that E and Shift E are the most commonly used macros. E stands for edit, which means that the program will run clip fix, compression, normalization, and truncate silence on each piece of audio that is selected. If you're using E, it will select the last clip that was used. If you use Shift E, then you have to make the selection yourself. So you can see in our first track, this clip is one clip, whereas this one is two clips. This black line here will show you where that line is. So if I run E on the first clip, it does the, com the clip fix, the compression, the normalization, and the truncate silence on the whole thing. When I run it on the second clip, you can see that only the second section was used. So if I want to run it on this first section, then I'll have to select what audio I want, and then I can press Shifty. You can do that from the beginning, you can do it anywhere within some audio, but I would recommend not running E or Shift E more than twice on a particular piece of audio or it will start to sound distorted. If you want to run E but you're in a label track, then it will just make a label that says E no matter how many times you press it instead of editing any of the audio you're trying for. So you'll want to make sure you're in whatever track with whatever audio you want selected. If you aren't in a track and you hit E, then it does the edit to all of the audio present. If you start getting error messages that don't make sense, the best thing to do is go ahead and save your audio, close out of the program, and reopen it. Then you can click back in the audio wherever you need to be and try again.